This opening pan shot of the cannons and other equipment comer and menace to give up into the firepower that the Union had at the beginning of 1865. Yeah, in this exercise, I learned that President Lincoln was in a precarious position in the 1864 election. He was in danger of being replaced as the Republican candidate. Hindsight find that unthinkable. McClellan, his former general, was the nominee for the peace wing of the Democratic Party which had declared the war a failure, and even toyed with the idea of suing for peace. Of course, let it be said, that McClellan denied that plank of the Democrat platform. So the president, in order to maintain his status as candidate, signed a pledge that if he were not re-elected, he guaranteed a victory over the South before inauguration day of 1865. Lincoln knew that the preservation of the Union required soundly defeating the Confederacy. One can only imagine the severe price of men and material that would have been paid by both sides in a two-month do-or-die war. A little over two years earlier, General McClellan and the President met near the Antietam battlefield after the Union victory. You know, I shall never look at this formal photo again without feeling the extreme tension that, I now know, existed between these two leaders. The victory at Antietam was looked upon by Lincoln as a hollow one. Of course, on the one hand, it gave the President a victory to bolster the issuing of the Emancipation Proclamation. But, he firmly believed that had the General not been timid and held half of his troops in reserve, he could have smashed in his forces. Thus the war will have been over, right then and there. Within a month, McClellan was history. Fired. Abraham Lincoln hired and fired General till he found one who could stomach the losses required to win the Civil War. General Ulysses S. Grant. Yes, I know some of the details of this history are contested, but I have gained by a thousandfold respect and admiration of the man, President Abraham Lincoln.